Our theme, Protecting Your Crop, addresses the trio causing persistent crop losses common to all agriculture, weeds, pests and diseases. This theme is unapologetically defensive. Continuing the silo illustration, together weeds, pests and diseases cost Australian grain growers well over $3 billion every year for a combined tally of the crop losses and quality downgrades they cause. And this theme is about increasing our capacity to realise more of the genetic yield potential of varieties in the face of these causes of loss. The importance of this part of GOC's investment is underlined by the fact that the threat is always changing. Weeds, insects and pathogens develop resistance to control such as pesticides and overcome varietal resistance. Brand new ones can arrive on the wind or on a traveller's shoe. Regulations change with implications for on-farm control options and market access. And the cost of crop protection chemistry fluctuates in response to world events. GAEC sees its priorities as investing to mitigate the effect of these changes in circumstance and equipping growers with the tools for a balanced approach to sustain effective and efficient control. This theme seeks to answer the question, how are we to combine genetic, chemical and non-chemical cultural farm practices for effective control that limits crop losses and provides for stewardship for ongoing access to pesticides and genetic controls and delivers profit while addressing biosecurity concerns. This theme recognises that the causes of crop loss are diverse, so we have arranged our portfolio to consider individually the practice changes required to improve growers' success against weeds, invertebrate and invertebrate pests, cereal rusts and other fungal diseases. Nematodes, viruses and bacteria also. Investment in accelerated supply of genetically resistant breeding lines is a feature of the proposed strategy for all diseases. New uses of existing chemistry, combined with increased Australian access to new generation chemistry, remains a priority for investment. There will also be a focus on good farm practice to limit the spread of diseases and weeds both regionally and across seasons.